Hi, this is Mrs. Kalanicki, and this is one of my videos that goes over some basic topics we've reviewed already. Skills that you might need to answer more complex problems. First lesson today, adding decimals. Okay, one of the most important rules when I'm adding decimals is to line up your decimal points. So let's do this first question. Five and four tenths plus three and two tenths. I'm going to write it vertically in order to solve. Lining up my decimal points. Now when I add, I'm going to add vertically like I normally do. 4 plus 2, that's 6. 5 plus 3, that's 8. My decimal point is just going to join these, rest, these other two right in a line. So 5 and 4 tenths, 3 and 2 tenths, 8 and 6 tenths. Final answer is 8 and 6 tenths. Let's try another one. 12 and 4 tenths plus 15 and 60 hundredths. Again, really important when the decimals do not have the same number of place values is to line up the decimal points. 12 and 4 tenths, 15 and 60 hundredths. Again, what you may want to do is you may want to annex a zero right here as a placeholder to help you add. 0 plus 0, well it's still 0. 6 plus 4, that's 10. 5, 6, 7, one more makes 8. And 1 and 1 makes 2. Again, my decimal point will follow straight down. My final answer is 28. <laughs> one more question. Number 121 plus 10 and 9 tenths. Now, I would love to line up the decimal points, except I don't see a decimal point in 121. That might be challenging for some people. But if you think about it as $121 and no cents, I would write $121 and no cents. So my decimal point would be hidden right after the whole number. So any whole number that you have, the decimal points just right to the right of it. So I'm going to add $121 zero cents, and ten, and nine tenths. Again, if I want to annex a zero here to help me, I can. Zero, nine, one, three, and one. Bringing my decimal point straight down, 131 and nine tenths, or 90 hundredths. Thanks so much for watching my video on adding decimals. If you need more help on decimals, watch my video on subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. Have a great day.